in five minutes or four minutes? No? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, just like when you guys have an equation, x plus 3 equals 7, you can subtract a 3 on both sides. Correct? Okay. Exponential equations. e to the x equals 5. If you wanted to solve something like this, one way you can do that is take the ln of both sides. So ln of e to the x equals ln of 5. ln base e of e is just equal to x equals ln of 5. If you guys remember the rules that I provided you on the rules of logarithms, that was one of the rules. ln base e raised to the x is just going to be x. Now, you could easily plug that into your calculator. So just like you can add numbers, subtract numbers on both sides, you can also take the ln of both sides. And there's certain times that we want to do that. Well, here's another case we're taking the ln on both sides. We don't really want to do the algebra over here. It's not really going to be that fun. But I can also take the ln of both sides. Now, the reason why I'd want to do that is because we really want to use those rules of logarithms here. That's really, really helpful. Okay, So if I'm using the rules of logarithms, ln of y equals bring down the exponents. So I have 3 ln of x minus 3 plus bring down the exponent 2 ln of 2x plus 1. This, again, makes it a lot easier to find uh, the logarithm. However, to find the derivative, though, we want to take the derivative with respect to x on both sides. So we're going to do over d over dx on this side and d over dx on this side. Okay. Now, notice again what are we talking about. d over dx of 1 over y, we've got to take the derivative of ln of y, which is 1 over y. And then we've got to take the chain rule, the derivative of my inside function, which is y, with respect to x is? Derivative of y with respect to x is? dy over dx. Just what I've been spending my last 30 minutes explaining. Then, now we can just take the derivative we know. This is with respect to x of all x, right? Cool. I can do that. So this is going to be 3 times uh, x minus 3 times the derivative of my inside function, which would be times 1, plus uh, 2 over 2x plus 1 times the derivative of my inside function, which is times 2. So I still have 1 over y dy over dx equals 3 over x minus 3 plus 2 over um, 2x plus 1. But again, what do we want to solve for? We want to solve for y. So I could write dy over dx multiplied by y on both sides. So I'd have y times 3 over x minus 3 plus 2 over 2x plus 1. And then, if we really wanted to, do we know what y, um, do we know what y equals in this case? Yeah, we technically could also replace y with that if, we, if that was like a multiple choice question or something like that. Yes? There? Did I leave it? Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to multiply it. It's 2 times 2. You're right, it's 4. So a lot of times we want to write them in terms of x. So then we'd write everything back up there. Cubed times 2x plus 1 squared. That times 3 over x minus 3 plus 4 over 2x plus 1. Okay. So 